that's no more bottled water. Colorado. Not our first time to Colorado. But this time we're documenting it. But we've been to Colorado a few times. Woo. Colorado! So on a fun note, today is drive day. We don't actually have to get fuel today because it's so short. <laughs> so that's exciting for us. That's really exciting. This is the first time this has happened. Yeah, that's awesome. And is it gas cheaper in Colorado? It's a little cheaper right now than in Laramie, but not by much. <laughs> It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, those gas prices can go down any time now, okay? So if someone can get to work on that, I, that would be appreciated. Oh, are we gonna clear? I doubt it. Oh. Did it wiggle? I think it wiggled a little. I'm not sure if it was that or the <laughs> um or the wind, because there's a little right now. We chose to take this way because it was slightly shorter. But what we didn't take into account was that because we're going through town and it's not like an area where semis go, uh, <laughs> none of the trees are cleared out. They're a little overgrown. Teeny bit of overgrowth there. <laughs> Do a little swerve them. <laughs> we're dancing down the streets here in town. We want one of these close big spots is what we're looking for. If I remember right, these first few spots have water, these big ones. No, the good spots might not be. Wow. <sighs> yeah. Wow. I didn't see this coming. Neither did I. Might not even be a spot. There might not be any spots. Let's go walk around and see if we can find one, I guess. We just did a lap around the campground and all of the like big spots that we would fit in comfortably, definitely taken. This place is packed. Oh, someone's coming up here to talk to Lucas. I'll be back. This place is packed to the brim. There's like a couple open spots. And if we do try and fit into them, it is going to be a tight, tight squeeze to get in there. So uh, Lucas is talking with the camp host right now. They said that there's, or we read online that there was boondocking options around here for like $10 a night with no hookups. So we could just kind of wait it out a couple days until maybe a larger spot opens up. Um, so he is off with the camp host figuring out wherever that area is so uh we'll keep you posted <laughs> otherwise i don't know where we're gonna sleep tonight at this point i don't know how our luck worked out this way but there was one spot left in like the big big spots um with 50 amp and water there's no sewer here but there was an orange cone in it so we just assumed like okay we can't do that but uh turns out that the camp post is like nope just kidding let me move that cone for you so here we go. We got so lucky with this site. We got the last spot. The very last one. For big rigs. <laughs> <laughs> There's other spots, probably like anything smaller than a 40 would fit easily, but. We uh, don't quite fit that category. We, there was one, I think we would have fit lengthwise, but I don't know if uh, we could have got into it, so <laughs> yeah. it worked out. We got it. So now we're just going to set up, and I can't believe how busy the fairgrounds are. Oh my gosh, it's nuts. Mid-September, it's packed, but... Yeah, it is packed. Oh well, it is what it is. We got a spot. Yeah, we did. Uh, we have a casualty? Yeah. Oh. Where'd that come from? Right above the door. Command strips for the fail. It legitimately, like, all peeled off the wall. Yeah, other than one corner. That's not great. It was up there. There's one command strip left up there. We clear? Yeah. Okay. Ever since that initial incident uh, with the whole slide thing, um, we always hop up in the back and double check that there's nothing between the slide and the door that may have gotten in there during transit. A 
big reason, well, the entire reason that we came to uh, Longmont in the first place was for warmer weather. And it is 80 degrees out right now, and it's great. This spot worked out really well too because we're right by a nice grassy area. So there's us and all the other big guys. And here's this beautiful grass for Stella to do Stella things in. Well, it's good enough for Stella. <laughs> We're on our way up to Estes Park right now and we're driving through this area where there are houses all the way up, up and down that hill. And they're amazing. And I'm I'm not sure which one I wanna move into, but I, I wanna. I, and they all look so different. You ready to move in? I don't think we can afford <laughs> any one of them on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> not even close. It appears that we have found downtown Estes Park. Uh, we just don't know where to park our large hips in order to get out and enjoy Estes Park. It is busy. It is so busy. Walking around downtown Estes Park, Louie and Stella are super popular. Every... It's, very, it's very dog friendly. Like, yeah. all the shops have like little water bowls put outside. Most, I think you can go in most of them. Some, some say they're dog friendly, so you can go right in, obviously. But those are the only ones we really went in because we weren't sure and didn't want to beat those people. But about almost <laughs> every other shop has a water bowl. Yeah, inside, it's so. really cool downtown. And everyone is wishing Louie happy birthday. He turns 14 on Thursday. We're pretty pumped for him. He's just living his best life back there. <laughs> and Stella was obviously leading the pack as usual and was the uh, darling sweetheart. Everyone loved her. Day one in Colorado, and I can see an elk. You can't see the elk yet, but there's elk, and it's awesome. They're right here in town, so we are going to cautiously get as safe and close as we can so that I can zoom in with my camera. There's all kinds of people standing out there, so can I get across the main parking lot?
Guess what today is? It is put together Christine's shelf day. We're very excited. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> Here's the before. We got everything moved over into the corner just to make things easy. Naked, blank spot. Lucas did an amazing job putting this beauty together. I think it's gonna fit back there perfectly. And we lucked out and we had some feet left over from the ones that we had ordered for our stools. So that worked out great. This is the best bookstore in the whole wide world. I don't know about the world, I suppose, but it's the most amazing bookstore I have been in yet. And I love it so, so much. I love it. It's huge. It's amazing. We are at Longmont, Colorado. We're just at the fairgrounds here in town just for the week. And then we're gonna go up to Kearney, Kearney, Colorado, which is up kind of in the mountains, north of like Vail and all that, kind of north of there though. And then we're gonna do some exploring in Rocky Mountain National Park. But today we are gonna do an install on a water system because we are tired of buying cases of water, carrying, storing, and dealing with the garbage of bottled water. It's just kind of a pain, especially when we're boondocking. So we've got a Acuva Aeromax 2.0. It's a UV LED style water filter system and it's got a, it'll have a faucet like right next to the sink just for drinking water. And this is just gonna be just strictly for drinking water for us, probably coffee and stuff like that too. But the nice thing about this is it kills like everything. We don't have to worry about necessarily where the water is coming from. I mean, we still try to do our best. And then even filling our tanks, we have a water filter system 
on the rig itself too, but we don't want to have to just be worried about it. And also if we're drinking from our tank, which even sterilizing it every so often, you just never know. So this kind of makes it good to go. And they claim that you can drink the water from Mexico and less junk, more journey drank out of it when they went to Mexico and they're still alive. So we should be good. We're gonna get this installed and figure it out because we got a lot to install and it mounts, I don't know, all the way underneath here somewhere. I did buy this little guy on Amazon, which it'll split the faucet so I don't actually have to cut any lines. I'll be able to split it right there. So that part's kind of handy. We can put a link in the description. Let's get started. First things first, gotta get all this stuff out of here. This is what the kit comes with. Um, kind of everything you need, looks like. So it does come with this T. Um, it's kind of like a push style into your PEX lines. But there's also the break right in the bay where your sink a faucet connections go. That's why I'm using this one because then I don't actually have to cut my lines. I can just unscrew it, screw it in. And then I have fit, uh, it'll be right above my turn off valve. So it'll go right into here. So it should work out pretty well. And then this is the spigot that it comes with on and off. So they do make different model or colors. They got, I think a silver and brass maybe. I'm not really 100% sure, but we have black. So we want to stick with black to match everything. And then this is the filter system, the UV LED system. So you got to mount this and then it's got also a pre-filter. Oh, and then it's also got a regular flow um, to decrease the pressure. That way it's not blasting straight out of there. Pretty easy, just clips in with the water line. So it'd be too bad. Got my filter mounted right to the ceiling. And then I'm gonna mount this pretty much just right there, right underneath it. Shouldn't be too much. It's not that it's hard, it's just really awkward. If you are going through on the side here, just double check your thickness so you don't go all the way through. That wouldn't be cool. Okay, moment of truth. We're gonna make sure that Lucas doesn't go through this side. We really hope we don't see anything and that this is the least exciting part of the video. Are you in? Yeah, it's not tight tight, but I want it loose yet too. So, so I can get it level. That's the screw and we've got two more. But if that one went through, then I'm not worried. <laughs> all right, so we should be good. Got it all mounted on. Uh, did not go through the sidewall, so that's cool. Uh, you just gotta be able to make sure you can change this filter out if you eventually you'll need to. Yeah, just make sure you can get that in and out wherever you do decide to mount it. But other than that, pretty easy. And then I'll just have to run some hoses and stuff like that. And then now I gotta drill the hole in the countertop. Or do you want it over more? No, it's centered with the drain and on either side from the faucet, so I think that's the best option. Oh, I'm so nervous. this up after we have a charged battery. Take two. So Lucas said we're through the countertop which is the white part. Now I just need to get in and go through the that is really warm uh, through the wood. We're gonna get a little preview of what it's gonna look like once it's fully installed. Oh yeah. Looking good, and it clears it no matter what. This does swivel too, so you could turn it, but... Fair. Yeah. That's what it's gonna look like. Worst part's gone. <laughs> that part was a little heart-wrenching, <laughs> watching uh, part of your countertop come out. If anyone's wondering, your countertop is a half inch thick. Alright, we got our water tap spigot thing all mounted up. It's all ready to go. Now we just gotta plumb it. Uh, directions. Show you how to go through the filter, the filter, the UV thing, and then the little pressure volume reducer, a uh, little thing they gave you. Just gotta plumb it and we'll have drinking water. Okay, so it comes with a 120 volt or a 12 volt option. So 
The 120 is just like a regular outlet. And then they have the 12 volt option, which can run off your batteries. Um, we do have both right here on our counter. It was easier just to tap into our 12 volt system. And then it's always on whether we have shore power or not. So uh, just gonna tuck all the wires back up. It's all hooked up, plumbed, and literally plug it in and turn it on and hope for the best. All right. Oh, it lights up. Yeah, so long as it's blue, that means you're good to go. If you don't get a blue light, I mean something's wrong and you need to check it. Don't drink that. Don't drink it. <laughs> but if it's blue, it means it's doing its job and filtering it. Well, heck yeah, way to go. Voila, we're drinking water. <laughs> yes, no safe, more bottled water. Safe drinking water. That's awesome, it matches, it's beautiful. <laughs> Tastes like clean water. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, so it's all kind of cleaned up. I mean, you're still gonna have obviously some hoses, which you can't do anything about. It looks good, it looks clean. Hit the wires back up for going into the filter, UV filter, so. Okay, up until this moment, for a short while, I really thought I wanted a donkey. I was wrong. Give you belly rest. Yeah. <laughs> this is the cutest place in the whole wide world. Okay, we're definitely getting this. What? Apple cider donuts. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah. We pulled into Yaya Orchard and Farm. It is the cutest place and it is so cute. I love it here. They have everything from donkeys to horses. You can pick your own flowers. Obviously you can pick your own apples and we were 100% 
not suckered into, but suckered into purchasing all of the Apple things from the store here because it's all made on site. Um, it's fresh. Yeah, Lucas already ate one of the apples that we got. So good, so good on there. <laughs> Literally like picked daily, so it makes it even better. To go out and pick the apples, you do have to make reservations in advance and apparently they fill up like super fast. So us coming here last minute, that wasn't gonna be a thing. Uh, but we still got to put them in our own bag. Yeah, there's still plenty to pick from. They have different kinds too, so it's not just one kind or anything like that. No, they got and a they lot. Have, they have jams, barbecue sauce, hot sauce. Honey. Honey, I mean, they got everything <laughs> that a little farm would have, so it's super cool. Definitely mm -hmm. worth checking out. Yeah, if you're ever in Longmont, Colorado, come here. It's, it's wonderful. Yeah. Don't forget to hit that like button, click subscribe, and ring that notification bell to stay in the loop for future videos. Until next time, see you bye!